All right, go ahead. Uh, we designed a uh, oncology camp for children. Uh, the camp consisted of a 77 acre plot that was bare ground, which we were told to come into and do everything from the water, the structural analysis, the environmental impacts, and uh, the geotechnical versions of it from beginning to end. And this is what we came up with. Our site layout consists of multiple buildings of different sizes and different shapes, including two dormitories, uh, a medical facility, which is essentially a hospital, um, camper cabins, which would hold the oncology uh, campers themselves, family cabins for the different retreats that they have, and uh, a meeting hall or dining hall, which also has a storage up above it. Uh, the site consisted of a lake, uh, Lake MGM, which is a water skiing lake, which will also be included as a recreational use. The site itself sits at about two miles south of Bellevue, Idaho, in Blaine County. And this here is our structural analysis of the medical facility, including an infirmary with four bedroom, four hospital beds, a treatment room, with an oncology room, where the kids will receive their cancer treatments, uh, the pharmacy and storage for uh, the pharmaceuticals that need to be separated because of the different needs from the oncology versus the pharmacy, a bedroom for the 24-hour on-call staff, and a break room, linen room, and there's also a second story, as you can see here, which will house all the medical staff themselves in four bedrooms plus a lounge area. Okay. Our wastewater collection system, or in essence a septic system, consists of septic tanks and ozone generators. The ozone generators uh, allow us to get rid of the medical residuals that are in the waste and a subsurface wetland so we can treat all of it on site. So no treatment will be leaving, no, uh, none of the sewer will be leaving to a sewer system or a wastewater treatment plant. All of it is contained on the site itself. Any challenges that you came across in your project? Uh, a lot of the challenges, uh, mainly with the wastewater treatment facility, on how to treat it and how to get the ozone generators installed and their process in the in the train from the wastewater treatment. Any other pertinent facts you want to add in there? Uh, pertinent facts uh, probably would be that the camp itself uh, treats more than. 200, 200 uh, campers in a year. It's privately funded. Um, and it used to be funded by the American Cancer Society, but it has since in the last year changed. So now they are a privately funded organization. And the challenges were, were great. We have, well, well, one last thing is when they dug this lake out in 1996, they had all the fill material, which you can see in light right here, which we, we could not disturb unless we removed it. So we couldn't build anything on top of it, so we had to limit our use to the undisturbed areas here. Other than that, that was our camp design.